This is the wall to the northeast of the gate. Just to the above and to the east of the gateway, we see the line of herringbone masonry. Just above that is a double row of Roman roof tiles, and they appear to be supporting a merlin, which could have been part of the original crenellations. It's also going to be interesting to know what date these pilasters are, to find out whether they are part of the Roman structure or were added later. However, the herringbone does actually carry on this way. We're going to put a small sondage in here to see whether there's a Roman rampart left. So here we are in the sondage by the gateway. We have a mortar and stone surface here. Now the section built up in the post-Roman period is essentially just turf and subsoil and you see a bit of tile sticking out there. In this shot we can see the relationship between the mortar floor and the double layer of Roman tile there which is presumed to be the base of a merlon which we can just pick out amongst the stonework there. Alice is standing by the merlon and she's going to point out what we think are the outlines of the surviving Roman merlon which you can just pick out because the mortar is different. Running along, following the herringbone along, there is a pilaster about 1.8 to 1.9 metres away from a second pilaster there, a third here, and probably a fourth under that turf and weeds over there. We're just investigating here whether the uh, walkway at the top continues, but it appears that the surface has been taken off it and it's not in very good condition anymore. Here's a close-up of the pilasters on the south wall.